We now move on to our next very exciting guest, uh, Nawaz Modi Singhania. As Nawaz gets ready to get on to ca on camera to uh, talk with us, uh, she's also or she's almost like the partner of this event with us. Uh, like Rail earlier mentioned, uh, Nawaz Modi Singhania is a seasoned star icon who introduced India to the first Pilates studios, Body Art. Nawaz has also showcased her art collection in Mumbai, featuring paintings and themes of dance movement and spirituality. Her paintings have vibrant hues and reflect her deep interests in dance and fitness. May I request Nawaz to please share her thoughts with us today. Good evening, Sunita, and good evening, everyone. Thank you good for evening. being with us in this space. Um, I firstly wanted to say that uh, we uh, have people from more countries than we think. Uh, I know I have guests and people here from Canada and the UK and Singapore, and I um, just wanted uh, them to be also, you know, acknowledged. I can see all of you here and uh, thrilled to have you um, in. I firstly want to spend a very brief amount of time sharing with you how it is that I first met Dr. Kashya Patel, because it was really very iconic. And I'm certain it was divinely ordained as well. Um, in the year 2009-2010, uh, my father was suddenly diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and he was asymptomatic. It was found uh, quite by mistake. He was um, scheduled to take eight chemotherapies and uh, on the sixth chemotherapy, he couldn't take any more. Things were not going well. Um, his system couldn't take it. And um, he ended up in the ICU. The doctors kind of, you know, said, well, that we don't know what else to do. And I was absolutely distraught. I didn't know who else to go to. I didn't know what else to do. I was scraping the bottom of the barrel. And quite by accident, um, I was uh, invited, I think, by Ryle and team uh, to Dr. Kashya Patel's son's book launch. And I decided to take a happy distraction for myself, which I very much needed in that very stressed out state, and take my book club members along with me to this launch. Um, when Dr. Kashya Patel came onto stage and as the father of the author spoke and I found out that he was um, an oncologist in America, uh, I kind of jumped out of my seat and my heart kind of jumped out of my chest and I thought, oh my God, maybe there's some hope here. And um, after the launch was done, I kind of tracked him around. I went up to him, I introduced myself and I... Um, I told him briefly what my woes were. He was very kind, very patient, and he said, no, it's not the end from what you tell me. I think there's something I can do to help you. Um, he was flying back to America the next day, and he said, why don't you come first thing in the morning uh, with all your paperwork, with your medical reports, except mine as in my father's, medical reports, etc., and show them to me. I think I could help you. Um, Quite coincidentally, uh, which we didn't know at that point, he happened to be staying at the house of one of the people I'd taken along with me for this book club, uh, for this event, a book club friend of mine. And she didn't happen to know it. She's on this chat, uh, on this launch, I should say. She didn't know it at that point because it was a family member who was close to Dr. Pash uh, Kasha Patel. They were staying together. So it was quite a happy tie-in when the next morning I landed up at her place with my reports and uh, he took the time, despite having a very busy schedule, um, to, yes, show me the light, show me the way. Uh, this was not the only time that he actually saved my father's life this way. My father couldn't take chemotherapy anymore. Uh, it was quite clear and he had to. The next two cycles were still due. Uh, he said, no, there are drugs in the U.S., uh, they are under trials, 
I think this can help free, uh, help your father. Let's do this. And it worked. It worked then, and it worked again um, a few years ago, more recently, when once again my father had a relapse. But this story is about, it spans over 11 years. And I want to say that, uh, you know, Dr. Patel, despite being um, continence the way, uh, has been available to me day and night. I never have to think of what time of day or night it is. I try to be sensitive, but uh, I'd never have to think about what time of day or night it is when I call him or I message him. And I know that often he's kind of stepping in and out of Washington, out of the White House on the work that he does with them. But yeah. nevertheless, he will respond. He will take my call immediately and that is a very very big thing um i have uh, dr patel a little surprise for you uh. and uh, <laughs> I, uh am i being seen yes i am yes uh, yes all right so this is um well i'm going to unveil it it's an artwork that i made for you Oh. And um, I don't know how much of it can be seen, but I want to explain firstly that while we all suddenly have yeah. lost this three dimensional world that we thought existed and have moved into this 1D space, I mean, here we all are on Zoom, and at least the silver lining on the cloud is that we can be with people across countries and continents. Uh, this otherwise might not have been a global launch, so um, I'm happy for that. Um, since you are not here in person and can't see this, I want to say that uh, how uh, ironic is it that despite the 3D gone, the 1D arrived, I chose the spread of your book titled The Fourth Dimension. Um, oh, wow. That is the first draft. And, um, here we are. Uh, you have a time piece um, painted out here by me with a feather ink pen and a reminder for all of us to um, be present. You have a butterfly on the other end. Well, actually a half a butterfly. Uh, the other half is flowers. We have a thumbprint. I have to thank your friend for that idea. The thumbprint, denotes, yeah, the thumbprint denotes what you will. And some underscoring, the way you would underscore when you write on a, when you're reading a book. Um, a little bit of margin scripting, the way you would when you are reflecting on something that you are reading. And I do hope that this will find its way one day into your home in the US oh. on your wall. But till then, I want to thank you for everything, uh, every little thing. I feel very, very blessed to have met you and uh, to have you in our, all our lives. It's not just my father, you've helped, you've helped so, so many millions of people. So, um, uh, thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you for all of that.